Hi guys, this is Red and today I'm going to show you how to make this killing machine of death behind me. As you can see, I have a minecart dispenser. So this doesn't exist in normal Minecraft. I mean, you don't have it as a minecart in, in the inventory. And as you can see, we have, for example, minecart with chest, minecart with minecart with furnace with tnt and with hopper and um i was looking through the comments of one of my old videos and some of you guys have requested me uh, and asked if it was possible to make a minecart dispenser i know that with dispensers we can shoot arrows so i said let's make a minecart dispenser that shoots arrows when it goes over an activator rail so as you can see we have to use only these command blocks in here the first one is used to summon a minecart so if you copy it, you'll find all the commands that I used in this video in the video description. Go click the link and you'll be forwarded to my webpage. Uh, on that webpage, you'll find all of these commands in here that I'm mentioning right now. So what you'll have to do, you'll have to invent a truck. So um, let me take a redstone torch and you can make it as long as you want. It doesn't matter. And you'll have to place some activator rails where you want the, the minecart to activate the dispenser. So for example, let's say in here, then we put a powered rail, but we need a torch underneath and then close the hole and continue. Okay, perfect. So once you have your track done, I don't know, you can make some cool levels and, and maybe hide this track behind the wall, do something like that. You know, you can be really creative with this stuff and personalize it as much as you guys want. That is it. For example, you, you will have something like that. Let's do... And that is it, guys. As you can see here, let's pretend that we have a level we have to run really quick when the uh, when the minecart comes. Oops, and I just deleted my command block. Okay, so what you have to do, you take this command block in here, place it on top of a... doesn't matter what type of rail, click on this button and click on done. Then destroy it and you'll have your minecart in here. If you push it, boom. Oh, and now it's actually reversed. Okay, so it's shooting arrows at the opposite direction. If this happens, just try to summon a couple of more until you see that the arrows are going in the direction that you want. Sadly, this is a problem that happens with minecarts. Their rotation is a bit finicky, even when I have to use command blocks. And yeah, now it works. But, oh, okay. The arrows will go up here. So let's see. Yeah, you, as you can see, you can... Um, make some pretty nice actually it's better because you can't see the rails from here that is perfect that is perfect and if you're in game mode zero let's go really quickly they deal a lot of damage as you can see so yeah a couple of these can kill you let's see boom and in the message uh, it says the red engineer was was shot by minecart so now I'm going to explain you how to get this custom message it is really simple and I'm going to show you a bit how the commands work so, all of these four command blocks are similar, the only thing that changes is that they detect for different rotations of the, uh, the minecart. So, when, you, when we summon the minecart, uh, let's before explain you what, what's inside this command. We renamed it Dispenser, it has a custom display tile, which is a dispenser, and then we said that we want it to be invulnerable because of, uh, well, if the arrows hit it, it will be destroyed. So if it is invulnerable, it will not die because of, of the arrows. That's it. So in this command in here, we have an execute command that detects for the minecart named dispenser. And then you have the head rotation of it. And then it detects if there's a activator rail block underneath. Um, why did I put minus one? So minus one uh, indicates uh, that we don't care of the data value of the activator rail. So if we put, for example, one, it will work only if there's an activator rail with a data value of one. But if you put minus one, it works with activator rails of any data. Then, if the minecart named dispenser, which has a certain head rotation is detect, if an activator rail is detected underneath it, finally, the summon command can work. Uh, so, at the end of this command, we have a summon command that summons arrows relative to that minecart, which have a damage of eight. So, if you change this value here, eight means eight half hearts so basically four hearts if you do if you write 10 you'll deal a five hearts damage etc etc then life one 1200 this indicates that as soon as the arrow lands on ground it disappears if we write one 1100 
the arrow will disappear after 100 ticks. If we write 1000, it will disappear and after 200 ticks. We gave it a motion that makes the arrow fly away really fast. And then we gave it a custom name, Minecart. That's what makes the death message show that we were killed by Minecart. So if we change this with another name, for example, the Red Engineer, the death message will be uh, the Red Engineer was shot by the Red Engineer. Um, <laughs> quite interesting. Actually, I want to do this. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it about this creation. It's a really quick one, really simple one. But as you can see, you can do some interesting stuff, some interesting levels. And uh, did it work on these detector rails? Let me see. Oh yeah, it worked. And as you can see, the, ra the arrows are disappearing as long as they fall on the ground. So you avoid uh, having additional luck because of too many entities. Because yes, arrows are entities. So guys, that was it. I hope that you guys liked this tutorial. Oh wow, I love the, the new player collision. Look at that. <laughs> And um, I'll see you all guys in my next video, I guess. If you like the video, please leave a like under it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in my next video with a new comment creation. See you. Bye.